of Amen. where Amen. Yes, he Thank brought you. us from. Yes. 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 Thank you. And where we could have been. Yes. Yes. In some cases where we should have been. Yes. That's it, yes. But for the grace of God. Amen. That have kept Thank us alive. Yes. And brought us to this moment. With all things being well. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To be alive at this moment. Thankful to God to be in this place. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Our associate ministers, to our deacons, and to our musicians. Hallelujah. To choir, and to all of our Lord, uh, Amen. Uh, ushers, our members, family, and friends who are in yes. this place. We thank God for each and every one of you who are here today. Yes, God. Yes, God. And we don't take it for granted. Say that to our guests, family who worship yes. with us. Amen. We thank God for you. We're glad to see you Amen. on this day. Amen. Amen. Trust that something will or has been said or done to encourage your hearts and uh, to uh, cause you to want to come back to this place. Amen. Amen. Yes, the key thing is welcome. Yeah. Amen. You are welcome Amen. in this place. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, members who are not here. And Amen. We certainly thank God to look good in their seats. Amen. Yeah. We thank yeah. God for yeah. you all. There's a way uh, in the uh, Gospel of St. Luke. That's in the New Testament. The third book in the New Testament scripture. The Gospel of St. Luke. We will be in the 14th chapter. St. Luke, the 14th chapter. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We'll begin reading at verse number 15. Yes, sir. Amen. And we'll go down to verse number 22. All right. Yes. It is helpful for me if you uh, will read it with me. Amen. 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 Good to read it with the preacher and keep your mind and say amen. 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 St. Luke 14 yes, and 15, I'm sorry, and 16, go. Then said he unto him, a certain man made a great supper and made many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go through them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came to show his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the lame, and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. Amen. Concentrate on verse number 17, if you will. All right. And it says, and he uh, and sent his servant yes, sir. at supper time uh -huh. to say to them that were bidden, Come, mm -hmm. for all things are ready. now ready. Yes, oh. yes. And that's still the message today. All right. Come, 
Yes. For all things are now ready. Yes. All right, God. All right. Thank you, God. This again a parable told by the Lord Jesus who told parables to make it crystal clear mm -hmm. what the kingdom of heaven uh, the kingdom of God was all about. And parable is simply a earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes. And Jesus said he spake in parables mm -hmm. because it was not given uh, to everyday men to know the mysteries of God. Yeah. Right. That is to say, if they didn't have time to stick around and learn, All right. then they were not worthy of having it. You All understand? Right. We're yeah. in this microwave uh, era where everybody wants everything real fast. Right, Amen, somebody. Amen. Yeah. And uh, many folk would come and listen to his message, and when they figured they had gotten the gist of the message, mm -hmm. then uh, they would just leave. Mm -hmm. So Jesus told parables sometimes that required further explanation. Right. Oh, right. Right. And understood that those that really wanted to know and get an understanding uh -huh. would hang around until the end. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, knowing our Church services oftentimes people have a set time uh -huh. that they'll stay. Yeah, All right. It doesn't matter to them what's going on after that time. Uh -huh. They have already determined that that's when they're going to leave. Amen. Yeah. All right. But God does not have to work on our time. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And if I come for something. Yeah. And I have not received it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stay until I get it. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. I've been at the doctor office and had to wait an hour. Whoa. Yeah. With the understanding that if I had been ten minutes late, he would have canceled my That's hour. right. Yeah. yeah. But I also right. understand that I need him more than he needs Come me. On, man. Yeah. So since yeah. I'm here and have waited an hour, all right. All right. I'm all not right. gonna leave until I get. What I came yeah, that's right. Yes. 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 In this particular parable, the uh, Bible says that they entered into the house of one of the chief rulers of the Pharisees uh -huh. who had uh, prepared a meal. And as they saw uh, Jesus speaking and telling them, when you make a dinner or supper, don't don't go and call your friends or your brother, your near kinsmen and rich neighbors. Uh -huh. Because all that's going to happen is you're going to invite them and then they're going to invite you. All right now. All right, all right now. And he said, but uh, when you make a feast, call the poor, mm -hmm. the man, the lame, yeah. and the blind. All right. Yeah. And he said, then you'll be blessed. Yeah. But they cannot pay you back. Yeah. Yes. And you will be recompensed or paid at the resurrection yes. of the just. And more times than not, when you see Jesus speak a parable, it's in response to something that has just been said or done. Uh -huh. In this instance, one of them that was at the feast heard Jesus say this. And he said, blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Yes. And the purpose then of the parable was to show that everybody is going to be invited. All right. But everybody wasn't going to come. That's right. All right. That's All right. right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then everybody would be invited. Yes, sir. But everybody wouldn't come. Uh -huh. Right. And he used the feast of a great supper 
Because typically this was prepared in the evening time. Mm -hmm. And it says, a certain man made a great supper. Uh -huh. This is a big one. Yeah. And invited many people. Yeah. <laughs> Oftentimes times, they didn't have uh, email and Twitter and All right. Facebook and Chapsnet and everything. <laughs> right. And, yeah. and uh, they would have runners uh -huh. go throughout and make the invitation. Yeah. But they didn't make the invitation just on the same day. That's right. All right. Amen. They, you know, we have this thing, people say, now nah, save the day. <laughs> and they have something of the same concept. All right. They would give you an announcement. Uh-huh. Later the four run would come again, yeah. reminding you. Yeah. Of uh, the set time and day uh -huh. that the feast was going to be prepared. Uh -huh. Are y'all listening? Yes, yes. Sir. yes sir. Come on. And one thing we notice about this particular feast is that when the invitation, the final invitation went out on the day of the great feast, yes. the invitation said, come now. For all things are now ready. Right. Mm -hmm. How many of you have uh, been invited to a cookout all right. mm -hmm. that was to start at 3 o'clock? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you got there at 3 o'clock and the food was ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama used to always tell us, uh, you already know this stuff ain't gonna be ready. <laughs> and don't get on there acting home. We ain't right. acting. We hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. But <laughs> she's saying, prepare yourself. Right. Because just because they said it started at three, don't mean it's gonna be ready, gonna be ready at three. Right. Are y'all listening? Right. Yeah. But this Say a certain man made a great supper. Yes, sir. And bade many, invited many, sent the servant at supper time. Mm -hmm. Say to them that were invited, Come now, for all things are now ready. Yeah. This was not just a dinner. Right. But it was a great supper mm -hmm. and a feast. Uh -huh. All right. Meaning that it wasn't just mm, baked chicken and green beans. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This wasn't just the dinner roll and the yellow rice. Uh -huh. <laughs> this was a great supper. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Where the finest. A china was pulled out. Uh -huh. And everything was this was a supper to be talked about. Right. All right. Are you all there? Yeah. Come on. See, some folk invite you to dinner and ain't nothing to ever be said about it except you went to dinner. Mm -hmm. But this wasn't one of those kind of suppers. All right. All things were now ready. Yes. Sir. Amen. At supper time. When you have dealt with all types of issues of the day. Yes. Generally speaking, you are the most hungry. Are y'all listening? Amen. Some of us can wake up in the morning and don't have to have no kind right. of breakfast. Right. Right. But after we work eight hours, yes. after we have taken care of business, and yes. in some cases talk to certain folk on the phone, y'all yeah. listen. Come on. <laughs> You have worked up a good appetite. <laughs> yes, sir. And now your body is in need. Uh -huh. Are y'all listening? Yes. 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 At a great feast, it wasn't just uh, dinner and water, mm -hmm. but there was wine. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. 
saying that in this region it was customary that wine was served with every meal, but in particular out of Grant Feast, there would have been wine in abundance. All right. yeah. Which symbolized joy. Are y'all listening? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, and, and, and everything that was needed mm -hmm. was prepared at this great supper. Yeah. Not cooked for a lot of people at one time, that is. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what nobody say, it takes a lot of preparing. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. And I only had to take a lot of money. Are y'all yeah. listening? Yeah. But it takes a lot of prepping and getting stuff in order. Uh -huh. And making sure that while one thing, you're putting on one thing, that the other thing is not burning. Now y'all All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. You put a lot of love into everything that you prepare. Mm -hmm. With the expectation that the guests will show up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will enjoy it. Yes. And be grateful. Yeah. Are y'all here? Amen. Yeah. And this ain't about food. And certainly not just about wine. Uh -huh. But he used something that we could all relate to yeah. and yeah. understand. Yeah. Yeah. God, though, is the one that prepared the great feast. All right. And there was plenty of announcements yeah. mm -hmm. and plenty of warning. Come on, yeah. all right. That the feast would eventually be ready. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Uh -huh. yeah. Abraham, the Bible said, look for a city whose builder and maker was God. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Yeah. All throughout the Old Testament, uh -huh. the prophets and the priests talked about this great feast that was eventually to come. Oh, yeah. But some folk, if you get an announcement too early, mm -hmm. uh, you'll put it to the side and forget all about it. Yeah. Are y'all yeah. here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, 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 in your mind, that's just so far away. Yeah. Right. Until when the time comes, you'll plan all kinds of other things yeah. right. and find out that you can't make this up. All right. Uh -huh. Priests and the prophets had given the invitation that everything you need was going to be provided at one time and in one place by one person. All right. Are y'all here? Amen. We, we got this thing, and, and, and Israel had come to a point where they had different Levitic gods. Are y'all yeah. here? Fertility gods, rain yeah. gods, and, okay. and all kinds of gods for different situations. And, but but what the feast was going to entail was being able to come to one God who could fix everything that was messed up in life. All right. Oh yeah. Some of us really ought to be considered coming to this feast. For the peace that we need can be found at the feast. Yeah. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the comfort that we need can be found at the feast. Yeah. But Jesus in this story says, a certain man made a great supper. All right. Invited many and told the servant to go tell them all things are now ready. And he said, they all with one consent, every one of them. Uh -huh. Started to make excuses. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. And I looked at this. I thought about this. Whenever uh, we were children, I don't know how it worked at your house, but sometimes Mama might have said, Don't go nowhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you figured you'd slip off and you could beat her back. Yeah. But somehow, uh, either it got good where you were at. Are you miscalculated? Right, yes. yes. Are you all right. listening? Amen. And wind up, she beat you getting back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most times, no matter how good a time you had, all right. yeah. 
on the way home. <laughs> Are y'all listening? Yeah. This is how we did. Uh -huh. On the way home, you start thinking up an excuse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Come on, Richard. Yeah, yes, sir. Because you know a contingency plan because right, right. if you get there and she there, right. you don't want to be caught off guard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. So you want to have your excuse all ready to go. Yeah. And I got to tell y'all this. <laughs> we have some cousins. Well, they still our cousins. But <laughs> <laughs> my cousin used to tell my sister, said, you think of one, you come up with some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just done enjoyed all the way up to the moon. Yeah. They ain't thought up nothing. Uh, knowing that they out of bounds. Are y'all there? Right. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Ain't got no kind of excuse yes, yes. prepared. Mm -hmm. if it, we didn't have these kind of mama they got now to open. And right. tell them no excuse you made was going to work. Yeah. Right. 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 Because she told you. Not to yeah. Don't go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Amen. My sister used to say, get you a good lie and throw it out there and stick to it. Don't be, be changed around. So that's how they get you. Yeah. Give you something for the effort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And uh, they all, with one consent, though, began to make excuses. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I, when I was a boy, we, my mama didn't make us go to school, you know, uh, it almost like you just had your own choice. And you got up in the morning and after a certain age and you just decided to even go, you didn't even have to, you didn't even have to say you couldn't find your shoe no more. You just didn't go. You didn't say nothing. And she didn't say nothing and you didn't say nothing. You just act like it wasn't no school day. <laughs> but uh, one time I had missed several days, you know, right together. <laughs> And my mom was in there laying down, and I went and woke her up, and I told her, Mom, I gotta have an excuse. And she said, Have one. And, <laughs> and I rolled on back over. <laughs> and I went back to sleep. <laughs> in other words, I guess she was saying, there Ain't no excuse. Amen. And some stuff, the reality is, there is no excuse. Oh, man, speak that. And I want to look at these uh, three examples that were given in the text. And then we can go here. Preach. Go ahead. It said they all with one consent, mm -hmm. all alike that is, right. yes, sir. began to offer the excuses yes. for not coming to the feast that somebody has spent their money, used their resources. Yes. Time and effort yeah. and the past, yeah, they began to make excuses. Uh -huh. The first one said, I have bought some property uh -huh. and I got to go and see it. My Lord. Are y'all listening? Come yeah. on. Yeah, this sounds like one of my cousins' excuses. Right. right here, what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have bought some property. All right. And I got to go and look at it. Yeah. Mm. It didn't say I'm going to buy some property. Right. Right. And I got to go yeah. check it out. Right. Yeah. I already done bought it. So uh, but if you already bought it, whatever it looked like today, yeah. that's what it's going to look like tomorrow. Are you yeah. It ain't going to matter. It's not going to change nothing. There's no right. urgency, no sense of urgency yeah. at going to look at the property. Yeah. Because yeah. whatever it is, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. 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 Don't hear me? That's right, man. What kind of excuse would that sound? Just, just see what that would sound like to you. Yeah. Are y'all listening? You told somebody, come on over, man. You know the thing ready now. And they tell you, I, I ain't going to be able to make it, man. I'm going to buy some property there and I got to go look at it. <laughs> this, like this in the book now, ain't it? Oh, yeah. 
That's what the first one said. Uh, and it said, another one said, I have bought five yoke of oxen. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to test them out. Yeah. <laughs> Please excuse me. <laughs> See if they can plow or not. Yeah. I've already bought them. <laughs> Good or bad, I'm stuck with them. Yeah, that's right. Are you that's right. Yeah. I, I bought five yoke of oxen. In fact, in fact, in matter, if it's supper time, chances are the oxen tied. Are y'all there? Yeah. Yeah. That's not a normal time for them to be plowing. But he said, I, I, I bought five yoke of oxen. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I got to test them out. Mm -hmm. Y'all hearing these good excuses? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I pray you. Excuse me. Yeah. Another one said, I have married a wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> and therefore, I cannot come. I, cannot come. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, <laughs> during those days, if a man had just married, he was exempt from going to war mm -hmm. because uh, he needed to be there at it. Uh, right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. He couldn't take his wife with him. Mm -hmm. But to a supper, <laughs> it was a great supper. Yeah. And he invited men. Yes, yeah, sir. Surely, if you got an invitation, yes. you could have brought your wife with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You're plus one, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I have married a wife, mm -hmm. and therefore, I cannot come. Some of them should have asked my sister to get them an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> so that the servant came and told the man who prepared the feast. And then the master of the house became angry. Yeah. And said to his servants, go out quickly into the streets, the lanes of the city, and bring in here the poor, the man, the hawk, and the blind. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. Yeah. 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 And yet thou yeah. is room. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. And the hedges. Yeah. And compel them to come in. Uh -huh. That my house may be filled. But I say unto you that none of those men which were invited shall taste of my supper. All right. The first invitation that went out went out to a certain class of people. That's right. All right. Yes. The Jews who were God's chosen people. All right. Yeah. That's right. Received the first invitation. And the first call. Yes, sir. But as time went by, Come on. they all began to make excuses. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. And when Jeremiah cried, they all made excuses. Yes, yes. As Ezekiel declared that they would know that their years are gone. Uh -huh. They all made excuses. Yeah. As Isaiah said, come now yeah. and let us reason together. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They all began to make excuses. Yeah. And when Jesus came, yes, Lord, yeah. and said, I am the way, yeah. Yeah. the truth and the life. Yeah. Well, they all 
began to make excuses. Yes, yeah, come, yeah, come on, man. There were those who had problems with everyday life. Yeah. Well, yeah. and uh, all they had to do was simply come to the feast. Yeah. 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 For uh, at the feast, yeah, everything you needed was at that feast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For he didn't yeah. say some stuff was ready, yeah. but he said all oh, things yeah. are now yeah. ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah and now uh, Jesus came well, well. with a messenger that says, whoever hears my word yeah. and yeah. believes in yeah. yeah. and is baptized yeah. shall be saved. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, but he that receiveth not or believeth not yes. is condemned already yes. in his heart. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, whatever you are going through, you ought to just come yes. to the feast. Yes. I know you're thinking if I could just get to the club uh -huh. and turn it up. Y'all ain't saying that. Uh -huh. I can drink all, all right. my sorrow yeah. away. Oh, yeah. Now I hear him saying, who prepared the feast? Come on, man. Cast all your cares yeah. upon him. Yeah. Because he cares for you. Yeah. Now I hear him saying, whoever, yeah, uh huh. Whoever believes on me, well, yes, Lord, yeah. yes, if he abide in me, well, yeah. sir, and my word abide in him, yes, sir, he can ask what he will, anything, and I'll give it to him, yes, sir, anything, I'll be glad, I'm and at this feast is said, yeah, well, my God shall supply. He will. He will. He will. Yes, he will. After yes. I came to the I didn't have nothing to bring. Yes, sir. I didn't have nothing to bring. Yes, sir. But I came as a wife. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the feet. 
Jesus. Well, some of them making excuses. Uh -huh. My brother hungry. Yes. Some of them making excuses. Yes. Didn't have nothing, no better. Yes. Yes. Some of us are making excuses. Well, but we won't come to God. Hallelujah. But don't have no alternative. Yeah. Don't have nothing, no better. Yes. Yes. But what a friend. Yes.
It might not feed you physically. Yeah. But water take care of you spiritually. Oh, yeah. It'll turn you around. He'll pick you up. Yeah. But you got to come to the feast. On that last call. Come on. Yeah, well. He said, go in the highway. Yeah. Go in the hell. Yeah. Go in the crack house. Yeah. Oh, no. Go in the barroom club. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Why not just come? 